Hello, this video is about creating such snail spirals. Something like this. Here. Okay, let's start. We need a new scene and the sphere we can delete. Lock the front view. Okay, we need the tube and the curve. And then draw on your screen a nice spiral, something like this. And in the top menu you can um, adjust the radii. Uh, we need two of them and make the radius like this or like you want. And in the topology of the tube, you can change the X division to 4. And I turn the, the wireframe on, then we can see it a little bit better. And now, when we look at the side view, perspective off, it looks okay. But when we, um, you can change the an angle of the, of the tube. When you pick the center node, you can here change the, the rotation of the, of the tube. I hope you can <laughs> see it. It's a little bit uh, fiddling, so to say. Um, we need a straight, uh, yeah, you can play with the angles. Uh, there are different results then. Um, yeah, this one, yeah, it's, uh, the best thing is when it's straight to the view. Something like this. And then you can validate the object. Then we need the cell mask and the whole thing doesn't work when you use now the gizmo and you scale it, uh, this happens. And also it's not possible when you use the move brush, it gives such a result. Um, you have to use the cell mask, rectangular and mask near the, the middle. Then we can pick all the upper um, vertices. In the mask we can split the mesh, split it, and this mesh we don't need. We only need this one. And now when we use the gizmo and we, we scale with the blue dot, this happens. We get a nice spiral uh, like this and when you're happy with your spiral you can go in the gizmo menu and bake here's the operation bake and at the left side is the pivot you can reset the pivot now and leave the pivot function now the pivot is correct in the center of the mesh. And the next thing is use the mask and mask the whole mesh. Okay, sorry, we can do um, some funny things with the spiral before we mask it. You can use the, the pinch brush and the pinch brush has a um, at the left side a sub function here is sub and now when when you brush here you can make the spiral bigger and uh, brush at the inside then the inside is pinched and you can you can adjust it here like like you want you can also move single vertices with a move brush. Um, you can here um, 
move this a little bit around. Like this. Yeah. You can play with the uh, brushes, different options. And now mask the whole spiral. And in the mask settings, you can set a shell thickness and extract the whole thing. And let's uh, make it with a number of two, like this, or more, three. Okay. And yeah, now it's near the end. Um, with a here with the inflate brush, for example. You can also um, adjust a few things, make it a little bit bigger. The, the mask we don't need anymore, we can delete it. Here. It's also possible to use a move brush and um, here adjust the shape a little bit. Okay, and the next thing is you can use now uh, multi-resolution. You can subdivide the mesh here with linear subdivision one time and then again without linear subdivision and use um, the inflate tool again a little bit. Like this. Move. Now it's sculpting. Okay. And smooth now. I have to play around with it, yes. And um, with a gizmo you can stretch the whole thing. Yeah, that's it. Have fun with sculpting, ciao.